Hey everybody, if I could not use Photoshop, what would be the best photo editor of my choice? Are we ready for this? Let's do it. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This channel is dedicated to actually thinking out of the box and increasing our creativity in photography and as a photo artist. Okay, so I was challenged <laughs> with a major issue and that is everybody should know that uh, I'm a major Photoshop person. I've been using it for many, many years. I actually taught it for 20 years internationally and um, I do a lot of compositing work and I just love Photoshop and the combination of one-two punch between Lightroom and Photoshop is just incredible. But if I am handicapped and somebody says, sorry, you can't use Photoshop, what would you use? So before I get into that, if you could do me a, a big favor, and uh, I'm fairly new to creating um, YouTube uh, videos, and I found out that um, having likes is a big deal. The, the more likes I get, uh, more of the videos will be shared out to other people that have a similar interest. So if you could do me a favor again, and that is like this video, subscribe if you have not, and also hit that notification bell. That way you'll get notified every time there is a new video that is updated on the channel. Anyway, with that out of the way, um, I went and asked a bunch of photographers over the years, just out of curiosity, uh, if you could not use Photoshop, and by the way, um, just as a footnote to this, you're going to find that most photographers who have been around for a while professionally and even uh, hobbyists, most of these uh, photographers use Photoshop and Lightroom. OK, but there are some that do not. And the, bit, the big question I was asked is, if I couldn't use Photoshop, what would I use? And I got some common response back over the years and a lot of that has changed because some companies are now no longer in business and some are still but what i chose to do was i picked let's see one two three four five six uh different um programs and these are programs you have to pay for i think a couple of them you get a subscription to with the option to to own it outright if you choose but none of them are free at all uh, you can get trial versions on all of them to test them out but I just didn't want to go for the free stuff because free, there's just a, such a big limit to it. And um, you tend to get what you pay for. I guess that's my point. And now that things are being pushed like crazy toward AI features and software and that, uh, that takes time and money to produce that. And the free ones are like lagging behind on that. So um, and yeah, a lot of these softwares are... Uh, less than $150. Some are less than $100 to outright own it. So not very, very expensive at all. So let's take a look at my top uh, six picks. But again, it doesn't mean it's the only thing out there. I know there's other ones out there that you could purchase, but uh, these are very popular that are used by people that might use these softwares as a plug into Photoshop. But some of these are actually a standalone and people use it as a standalone. They don't even use Photoshop at all. And at the end of this, I'll tell you which one that I would use and why. You might not like my answer, but um, it's really based on, you know, our needs and, and does it meet our needs and stuff. And if it does, that's the, that's the correct software to choose. OK, so let's take a look at the first one right here. The very first one I'm going to talk about. It's called Paint Shop Pro by Corel. Now, this has been around for years and years, and they keep improving their software over and over again. Again, you can get the download trial version of this. But uh, I believe Paint Shop Pro is only for Windows-based uh, products out, or operating systems. So if you're a Mac user, this is not going to be available uh, to you. Uh, a lot of people seem to like this. Uh, if you take a look at this as I scroll down, this program you outright owned for like 80 bucks. I mean, come on, $79.99. They have some uh, ultimate exclusive bonus packs, some premium software they bundle with this for $99.99. And if you're into video editing, they'll also throw their software in for you. And the entire package is $159.99. Now this is based on uh, the first quarter of 2023. So things do change, things do go on sale, but um, 
you know, this is not expensive software. And again, uh, you're not leasing it. You outright own the software. Okay. So again, pretty cool stuff. Um, you could take a look at some of the, uh, they're actually pushing in some AI technology, uh, some enhancements of uh, frame photo stacking. Uh, again, you want to go through their website and take a look at the videos that explain their features, what's new uh, in the, 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 say the 2023 version of their software of PaintShop Pro. Okay, the next one is if anybody uh, follows F Stoppers, they actually did a uh, preview of this, and this is called ACDC Photo Studio Software, and uh, they also have, have video editing software. And again, uh, I'm not going to memorize this stuff, but some of them are exclusive, exclusive only to a Windows-based computer. Uh, some of their software is both Mac and Windows based. So you just have to check it out based on, uh, you know, your needs and what operating system you're running. But again, there's trial versions on this. Um, it's not a bad program. I mean, I actually got the trial version played with it. Uh, there's one feature that's lacking that I wasn't happy with. I'll talk about that at the end. But it's a feature that a lot of people could care less about. And because of that, this might be a good software for you to take a look at. So again, um, not a bad thing. Let me just go to learn more to so see what they offer here as this changes. So they're talking about raw editing versus uh, what is layer editing and AI uh, face detection, which is pretty cool technology that uh, does some great things for you. So uh, definitely something that you should take a look at. Um, again, I think it's a great program provided, again, that it meets your needs and what you want to do in photography. So again, a very popular software out there. I can't remember what the price was on this. Um, it was not that expensive. Heck, let's go to, uh, let's go to shop here. Let's see what it is. Okay, ACDC Photo Studio, the ultimate version, uh, $99.95. Not a bad one. They have an ultimate one, $139. And uh, ACDC Photo Studio Professional, there you go, $79.95. So that's their lowest one right there. So you want to take a look at, you get two installs, two license keys right there. And, um, you know, very economical, uh, in my opinion, as long as it meets your needs. Uh, they got pretty good marks from uh, the F-stoppers on their review of their software. So that is the second software you might want to take a look at uh, if you choose not to use Photoshop. Uh, the next one. Uh, is called photo or not it's photo editing software but it's called on one now i've been using on one years ago now as a disclaimer i haven't used it in years but way back when um i've used some of their earlier versions good software it is a standalone and it also can work as a plug-in with photoshop so it gives you the best of both worlds if you're still going to be married to photoshop but you'd like to add this as a plug-in to photoshop um, something again, definitely to take a, a look at. And again, there are some you know free trials, 14 day trial looks like right there. Uh, take a look at what they have to offer in their program. Uh, a lot of cool stuff. I mean, they're introducing AI and um, just you know, basically a point and click type of stuff. So definitely, again, something to look at. And again, the thing that I go by when I look at softwares is number one, get the free version and really push yourself to test it out because some of these are like this one, it's 14 days. Other ones are like 30 days. You want to make sure when you download the, the free one, when you install it, beat it to death and, you know, consider it if it meets your needs. I mean, if it's missing some things that's important to you, then obviously this is not the right software for you. So again, um, you know, take a look at this. I think it's, a, you know, it's a great company. They've been around a while. They do a good job. Also, another one that is a standalone and can be used as a plugin with Photoshop and Lightroom is something called Exposure X7. Uh, and again, as a disclaimer, I don't own this software, but I used to own their earlier versions years ago, and I loved the software. But as I gained my skills, I was changing what I needed to do, and I found out I couldn't get what I wanted with the software. So I never renewed it, never upgraded uh, the software at all. But still, it's a strong software, uh, very economical. Uh, again, it could be used as a standalone. It shows you right there, or as a plug-in to Photoshop um, and a Lightroom. 
and again, it's going to show some of the, its technology, and and everybody seems to bring it be bringing in AI technology and stuff into their softwares. So definitely uh, a good look at what they offer. And again, at the top of my head, I don't remember what this sells for. So let's take a look at exposure. And uh, over there, let's see exposure seven. Uh, let's see by now. Let's see how much that is. And let's see exposure. There is the basic one, which is uh, one twenty nine, which is not a bad price. You know, upgrade is eighty nine. Um, I don't know how far back they'll go on an upgrade, uh, but their um, their entire say bundle that they offer is now one forty nine. And again, you know, these are one time purchases, and um, <clears throat> again, as long as it you know, gives you what you need. They have included, by the way, in the bundle, snap art and blow up. And blow up is used for increasing the size of an image. It does a great job. And snap art, if you're into, say, artistic looking images, it's really a cool program. I will put out a disclaimer. I do own snap art, the latest version. I do use that occasionally for artwork on some really cool things that make it much easier to do rather than trying to do stuff manually in other products and stuff like that. Um, like I've, I've tried Corel Painter and I'm just not good at it. And I've tried, I just give up. I find uh, this software, again, Snap Art. It's, um, again, it's a plugin. I think it, you can also use it as a standalone, but you can buy that separately. But the bundle is the best thing. If you take a look at all three, I mean, 149, I think is a great deal. And again, I keep emphasizing, as long as the software delivers what you need it to do. Now we're gonna come down to the last two. And one is called Luminar Neo. And um, as a disclaimer to this one, number one, I do own it. I was actually a, a minor beta tester for this. Excuse me while I grab a drink of water here. And uh, they are in implementing a lot of AI technology uh, into this uh, software. Very reasonably priced, it's under $100. Uh, if you take a look at the enhanced feature here, um, this is like can be done automatically with a couple clicks. Sky replacement. Yes, I know Photoshop can do that, but you told me I can't use Photoshop. So darn it, <laughs> I'm using Luminar Neo. So there, it does a great job. Love it for that. But again, I could do it in Photoshop, but I'll talk about why I own this software uh, as a plugin a little bit later. But again, standalone or plugin right there. Relight, I mean, check this out. Relight just does a great job. Like, you know, you didn't like the subject matter well enough. Uh, well, maybe you just didn't have a strobe to work with and stuff. And this was natural light. And now you're able to push that up. Like if you had a strobe where you complement it with light and you could push that lighting down, you're in full control of that. I think it's a great thing. You want to erase some stuff? I mean, check that out. I mean, yeah, I know I can do that in Photoshop. Uh, but again, you told me I couldn't use Photoshop. So this is a great alternative in my opinion. Okay, so again, uh, view plans. Um, again, Skyloom is both for Mac and PCs and uh, well under $100. They do have some enhancement plugins you can get for like around $39. Sometimes they're on sale. Um, pretty cool stuff. So I would definitely, um, you know, play with it, get the trial version and um, make, you know, a decision on that if you choose not to use Photoshop. The last one we'll take a look at is Affinity photo now affinity makes a series of softwares one is photo and this is version two this has been out for a while photo two they have a, a product called designer and designer is equivalent to like um, illustrator adobe illustrator and also another product called publisher which is for page layout that's equivalent to like adobe uh, indesign and these three products from what i understand work together in their workflow. Okay, so again, uh, as a quick disclaimer, I don't own this software. Uh, I actually got the trial version, I played with it. I think it's a great alternative to Photoshop. I'll explain why I didn't buy it. But if you told me, sorry, you can't use Photoshop, I would own this product right here. So let's talk about this product a little bit more in depth. Again, it is both Mac and PC uh, versions and uh, the main reason why um, it's it's not a go for me, there's a major plugin that I use 
that I should talk about in the future that does some really cool work for me and it only works in Photoshop. It will not work uh, in Affinity and the reason is um, that plugin is actually using algorithms and controls uh, in Photoshop to do the background work automatically uh, for me that would take a long time to manually do. And it just, you know, it just doesn't even know what Affinity uh, Photo is, so it's not going to work as a plugin. There is um, a hack, though, that you could actually find on videos that shows you how to do it, that you can actually use Luminar Neo as a plugin to Affinity. And I'll talk about why you might do something like that. And definitely I would, because number one, again, I told you I own Luminar Neo. And if I owned Affinity Photo 2, I would, that would be the greatest one, two combination punch right there. But the minor thing that, again, other than that one plugin that's important to me that won't work in this software, and that is masking. Everybody knows, or if you don't know, I do a lot of composite work. And the ability to extract an image, a, a photo of a person with hair and everything, out of uh, a, you know, a photo that I took off a plain background or whatever, and drop it into my background and do my compositing work, Photoshop gives me the greatest, deepest control, and I can get through that faster and more accurately than I can in Affinity Photo 2. I can eventually get it in Affinity Photo, but it takes me longer. And to me, time is money. And here's what's important to know. Who knows where this is going to be at Affinity Photo 2? Maybe it's going to be Affinity Photo 3. And their masking capability of extracting you know, a person out of a background with the hair and everything better, that could be a you know strong option right there. Um, but that's the number two reason why is that um, it'll take me a little bit too long doing uh, composites in Affinity Photo. But again, if you told me, sorry, Steve, you can't use Photoshop, this is the product definitely I would invest in and own because it will do, in my opinion right now, the, the second best, let's say, of extracting a, a photo with the hair and everything and tweaking it a little bit to bring it in to build my composites. Uh, Affinity Photo right now is, in my opinion, again, the second best right there. So um, if I couldn't use Photoshop, what would I use? I would use Affinity Photo 2, and I know that I can use Luminar Neo as a plugin to Affinity Photo. Now, let's talk about why I use Luminar Neo as a plugin to Photoshop. And that is, there's a lot of features in Neo that it would take me extra steps and longer to do. And Luminar Neo does it faster and easier. And to me, again, time is money because if I'm going through a series of images and photos, um, you know, again, um, that's just, you know, time is money. It's really important. But if, you know, if time is not an issue for me, because maybe this is a hobby, I'm not getting, getting paid to do this. Um, yeah, there's a lot of work I do this might work for me. You know, I'm not getting paid for it. It's just for me personally. But then I do some client work and time is money. And I want to be able to get through this quickly and accurately. Um, so, so let's talk about, again, what is the best photo editor out there? Uh, for you and that is well number one what i would do is and here's your homework and that is please look at these six uh softwares and analyze them tear them apart get the tr trial versions that kind of stuff but the best one is the one that meets your needs in photography i know everybody doesn't do what i do at all and if i wasn't doing compositing at all i'll just express my opinion i already told you affinity photo and I would be using Luminar Neo as a plugin to complement. And that would be my one two punch right there. But yes, I'm married to Photoshop. I love the program. It's, an, it's a really strong, in depth program, and they keep improving it. They're adding more AI stuff and features that's just, you know, it blows me away as to what they're doing. But competition is, is good out there. So, with that out of the way, hopefully you learned something. Take a look at these softwares. And uh, again, do me a favor. Um, again, like the video, subscribe if you have not, and hit that notification bell. 
Also, if you have any questions or things that you, you know, things that you'd like me to cover in the near future, uh, please email me. Uh, I've gotten a lot of emails. I'm getting a bit of a backlog. I'm getting a lot of good ideas to cover in the future, which is good, but I just don't want to stop the emails from coming in. So please email me at stephenphotoartist at gmail.com. Again, stephenphotoartist at gmail.com. And my ending is always the same, and that is get that darn camera out there, start shooting, make mistakes, because that's how you learn. Literally think out of the box, until next time, see ya!